So John and I have had the biggest surprise of our lives. Being 68, we feel like we've never had a greater closeness with this really young generation. Wow. I think this young generation is craving authentic voices. Voice, um, I put it this way. They can ask Siri or, you know, Google anything. Yeah. And they have, or they can go, there's no end of information and things available. But I think having presence with people mm. that still love each other, we're going to celebrate 50 years next month. <laughs> of marriage. I mean, that's wild to me. Yeah. Madly in love with each other. Still love the church. Um, love this young generation. Love it so much. We are, and yet still feel the, the privilege of having a voice into mm. their lives. I don't think they've written us off. As a matter of fact, I feel like we've become more important to yeah. this generation. And I'm not saying that in an arrogant way. I just think that trusted voices that have gone the distance and are not cynical or haven't given up become really valuable yeah. in an age where there's so many voices and young people want to know who we can trust. Wow. Yes and amen. There's such a need. There's such a high need. I like, sometimes I, want, I never grab their faces, but sometimes I want to grab the face of healthy, godly people in our church in their 60s, 70s, 80s yeah. and say, just don't go. Like, yeah. just, I'm sorry for the volume. I'm sorry for how sporadic I seem sometimes. Just like, please, like, you know, obviously if people can go and come, but like, I just, we so need we the generations mm -hmm. there. And sometimes one of the things I, I lament or is when someone in an older generation goes like, oh, I'm not needed here, you know, or, and it, sometimes it's because yeah. they're like, oh, I don't, I don't know where my place is. I'm like, just you here yeah. as a picture. And yeah. then the, the relationality and being open to connect with, and it's doing more than you know, because I think people are looking so desperately for a way that works. Like, can I see a sign of a life? Yeah. Like, I think there's this, these deep, I don't even know if, those who are part of Gen Z can even articulate it. My millennial peers for sure, but younger, younger, all the more. We, they've been pitched so many answers for how to do life, but it's all crumbling. Yeah. So the, the image of a family or a person who is has done life, and it seems that there's a measure of health and joy, love for God, and that is such a powerful part of how we pass on faith to next generation is to, to present that picture and um, it is, it's the, pre the work of presence. And I just long for, uh, uh, multi-generational churches yeah. that reach the next generation. Sometimes it's like to reach the next generation, we need to become a young church. It's like, well, to reach the next generation, we need to be a multi-generational church. Absolutely. I've always believed, and I've preached it for, for decades, we need voices as old as our mothers and voices as young as our daughters or granddaughters mm. in our lives. I need them all. We, we really need each other a lot.